Hi, hi! It's fun! We're gonna go thrifting, but first, look! Beautiful day in Colorado. Look at all the nice snow on top of the mountains. Alright, I'll see you inside. Well, we might be getting off to a good start. White's the one color that's not on sale, but they only want $5.99. Oh my goodness. And that looks like an aftermarket Sharpie that I should be able to get right off. And I have this one, but not with the red eyes. But I think still, I'll, I might sell that one. Cause I have plenty. I showed it the other day in a short. Okay. Pin cushion? What do you guys think? <laughs> I don't know, but it's cute. Mm, not for me, though. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get this for the booth. Studio pottery, but look how cute it is. Good colors, too. We're good. I've got about an hour. I'm going to pick up Mom. We've got some errands to run. Girl talk. I never heard of that. I don't know if those are supposed to be on there though. Girl talk. Let me see what those are. Okay, it's a 2008 Bradford Exchange. She's one of eight in a series. Average resale on the bay is about 10 bucks. Oh, sweet sister friend forever. Those are cute. Okay, I gotta quit saying cute on everything. Let me find some different ones. A little cut out, like laser cut wood sleigh. What the about? Oh, wait a minute, but this might be a Fenton bell. That is $8.99. Oh, bells don't really sell a whole lot, but that is a Fenton. There's a little bit of room left on that, just because it's Fenton and signed. Satin glass. Well, that's a different little Kokeshi type doll. <laughs> $3.99. Roly poly Kokeshi? Smile when sadness intrudes. That's not a proper affirmation. It's okay, but it's not real proper. Some looks like some African soapstone. Four ninety nine. I'm gonna put it over here instead of on that glass. White is what's coming out, so that's the color that's not on sale. It's just coming out. Statue of Liberty kind of a thing. Hey, that still has the twin towers on it too. Central Park, Chinatown. You know what? I'm gonna get this. $3.99. Good. It's not too much. Made in Korea. Sharpie on there that says from charity and ready to hang. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. 3D relief. It's got twin towers on it. Canada. Love me some Canada. A dollar. Vintage. Made in Hong Kong. Okay, I had to leave and take care of some business. So actually, it's the next day, okay? That's cool. Let's start it over because there's new stuff now. <laughs> um, but I had to leave quickly yesterday. But I bought the things that I wanted. Ooh, this thing weighs a ton and it is, looks like it's 50 bucks. It's just cool. It's contemporary, but it's cool. Um, I am, I'm not sure what's going on here with this sign. <laughs> horse rider or yeah that's a horse not a donkey Twelve ninety nine. is that like a legit street sign okay anyways I'm pretty sure these are retro vintage these are so cool you know what well let's look at the rest of these and then I'll go find a quiet spot and show you guys you see if there's anything else in there. I remember that picture. You can kind of tell by frames, but 
I don't care if something's contemporary if it's cool. That's interesting. That's a 90s. Even the frame. That's what you get at the office supply store, all those sayings. Okay, there's another 80s, 90s. Well, this one's interesting. Yeah, what is that? 167 out of 500. Let me pull this. That's interesting. And then I'll find a spot and show you the two that I'm definitely getting. And there's this big tall thing in kind of a sepia tone or sepia tone. It's a newer piece, probably Hobby Lobby or something. But look at this thing going on. I need to check that out. Is that what you call a block print? And then I want to check that one for sure. Let me find a quiet spot. So this is a block print. Um, the frame's defunct, which I did utilize to try to pull this up to see if there's signatures and there's nothing on the back. It is half price. This is probably something. I will have to pass though because there's some damage on it. That's a shame. This is probably something important. There's a fan base for that kind of stuff for sure. And then this one here is 90s. It's from a festival, third annual Cherry Creek Arts Festival in Denver. It is a signed, but. Um, you can get a poster print for 40 bucks at one website, but other than that, it doesn't seem to be very well known. It's a nice piece, though. It would also be half price, about 15, and that one would be about 15. That's the one I would probably get if it wasn't for that. Darn it. Okay. Now I'll show you what I am definitely going to get, though. I really like these. These are only $9.99 a piece. Vintage Decay, possibly. I noticed someone has a real small copy, like a 6 inch copy on eBay. These are cool though. I'm going to take a chance on these. They're just awesome to me. Very big, right? Very big. Let's do those for 10 bucks a piece, right? I just realized I didn't show you the back because I know these days it's hard to tell what's retro vintage and vintage and what's not. But here. There you go. That's a little older. So I'm creeping on the carts. They're putting stuff out. This is metal and kind of heavy. I would love to buy it, but some of the Horns are missing the tusk. Eight ninety nine. Looks like you could put an orb in there too, huh? That's not bad. It's not real leather or anything. That's not bad for four ninety nine. <laughs> and I don't hardly find gravel art. I don't find gravel art enough, in my opinion. But there's one. But that's not that. That's not that cool, is it, you guys? So I think I'll leave it. And I did look at the little Kokeshi type girl in a box, but doesn't seem to have a whole lot of value. What is this album? Morton Gould. More jungle drums. Okay. Let's dive in now. Somebody's picture. Oh my gosh, me and mom and Hannah did one of these in Dallas like 30 years ago. We did one of these. I've got it somewhere. I'll see if I can find it. We're diving in. There's a little, most likely, host of original, but she's missing her arm. $2.99. Little carb. Stone Froggy, three ninety nine. 
Put some chips on it. I'd get that for sure. That's not bad. This collie, yes. Two ninety nine. It's not a bad price, but it's so dark. I don't know about that. It's so dark. Okay, this is about a forty fifty dollar piece if it's in good shape. Ooh, look nicely polished. Seven ninety nine. It does have one chip. Just a small one though. That's kind of a nice looking one. Should probably get that. Those sell out of the booth pretty well. I think the last one sold for 40. That one's kind of unique. I better think about that with that chip. That lowers the value. Painted rock. Aren't you precious? Hand painted on silk, five ninety nine. We're precious. Interesting looking little plate, little server. Japan. Not bad, huh? And we saw those yesterday. A brutalist little sculpture, three ninety nine. That wasn't here yesterday. Those I'm pretty sure are Walmart or Dollar General. Hey, smokeless ashtray. Now that's interesting. How much are you? I hope you're not two ninety nine. I'm gonna see if that works. There are people who need that. If you're still smoking, might need that. That's not that no clay soapstone stuff it's uh just plastic vintagey though right cute little mirror dinner plate threshold threshold I can't remember what's target what's Kohl's what's Walmart lots of plates down there some milk glass Skim milk type, four ninety nine. That's a little too much. There's not a whole lot left on there. There's another shell. Seven ninety nine. Now this one's in better shape. Okay, I'll get this one. I know it's smaller, not worth quite as much as the other one, but the other one's got too bad of a chip on it. So I'll get that one. Okay, that's cute. I bet you this is a Target thing. Sixteen dollars, Ashland. Five ninety nine. I like it though. <laughs> I'd say in the booth though, that's probably only like a fifteen dollar item. There's another interesting Japan server. Those are slightly tempting to me because they're just. Yeah, a little more unique. Four ninety nine. Yes, you are coming home with me. Look at you. No price. Um, hopefully they'll price it at the cash register. Not oh, a bad little canister. Someone took a sharpie to it. It's only only one. It's only three ninety nine though. Okay, these are. Becker Spock or something of a month. Yeah, West Germany, three ninety nine. Those are half price too. Soup or supper? My mom would know. Maybe two dollars a piece. That might be an eBay item. Let me think about that for a second. Oh boy, look at all the Ray Dunn. Three ninety nine. It's pretty cheap though when you go to. Home goods, so uh, five ninety nine drink. Not the big M. They're not bad prices. Believe it or not, there's just really only a little bit of room left. And there's quite a few people that sell these um, where I have my boots. 
and I really wouldn't do that those on eBay because like I said there's not there's only a few bucks left on each one believe it or not so I am just gonna pass and Ray Dunn lovers gonna come in and think it's their birthday okay so back down to these you know what? I did decide to get one, the cookies. Yeah, I did decide to get that. Five ninety nine, nineteen ninety nine at Dillard's or wherever. I did decide to get that. Might even just keep it. Um I saw this in a cart just coming out, this little vintage necklace set. Made in Hong Kong, it's only ninety nine cents. Mini crystal animal necklace so that's fun and only because it's so cheap too that's just more of a fun item and these they had a lot of pillowcases and embroidery but most of them were like all white or cream and just a little bit at the end so I only chose this set and plus this set is nice for being older it's like they took care of it look they were folded up nicely I don't almost like they were ironed or starched those okay and before I say goodbye here's an honorable mention I would get if it didn't have a chipped wing ten dollars for this flying pig cookie jar that's funny my mom would probably want that alright you guys I hope you had a little bit of fun and I will talk to you later